Hello and welcome to The Vital Truth. My name is Patty. And for those of you that follow me on Facebook, I shouldn't say follow me because I want you to follow Jesus, but I mean those of you that are friends with us on Facebook and read our statuses know that um, I've been requesting a lot of prayer for my younger sister, Missy. Uh, Missy's life is hanging in the balance and um, we don't know where Missy stands with the Lord. Sometimes she prays and asks the Lord to help her. She's asked Him to save her. But only God knows and sees the heart. Um, Missy's in serious trouble with her liver and she can't continue to live without a miracle from God. I've been crying quite a bit and um, you know as a human being with feelings of course I've thought about since we were children and little girls growing up together and all of the good times that we had and then as adult women and how our lives carried us in different directions. And I thank the Lord tonight that, um, you know, Jesus loves every one of us. No matter what direction our life took, He never quit loving us. He never quit showing mercy and love and he stands yet with open arms willing to receive all that come to him and no wise casting anybody away from him that would turn to him with their whole heart it's not the father's will that any would perish but that all would come to repentance i have a lot to be thankful for i'm thankful that the lord got a hold of my life at a young age and even though I wasn't always faithful to him, he never quit dealing with me. My heart, even when I um, was in sin, I would cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, don't let me die in this condition. I want to serve you. There was so many things that I didn't understand in the Christian walk but uh, tonight the reason I'm making this video is I'm trying with everything I have in me to keep my focus on Jesus and not look at the circumstances and the storm winds that are blowing all around my family because when we look at those waves and we get our focus and our eyes off of Jesus very quickly I begin to sink in despair and sorrow and tears flow and in that condition it's very hard to stand in faith and know that our God is greater than any earthly physician he can recreate organs he can restore limbs he can raise the dead and I pray tonight that his most perfect will be done and that he will spare my sister's life and that he will raise her up for his glory, reveal himself to her in that intensive care unit where she lays barely holding on to life by a thread. But I want to encourage myself and every one of you because I know that everyone is going through tribulation, the perilous times that we're living in, the darkness that's enveloping the earth, the evil that is lurking on every corner. But we must never lose confidence in the Lord Jesus. We must always forever hold Him before our face and behold Him, His power and His glory, the authority that He has given us in His name. And we must stand as true and good soldiers bearing the full armor of God and not sink into our human emotions but know 
by his spirit indwelling us that he is the rock in which we lean on and it may sound terrible and I hope that I can get this out but I want to sing the song tonight I want every ear that the Lord will allow it to fall upon to hear it and to receive it I want it to go out into the atmosphere I want it to be in my home I want it to go out into the heavenlies I want it to shake the very gates of hell tonight I want my enemy to know where I stand as a blood-bought, born-again child of God who trusts in Him above every other source in this entire universe. And so I sing this to my Lord and for His glory and for encouragement and to declare who He is to me and I pray that it encourage you, strengthen you, lift you up, build your faith. Pray for me and my family and know that we are also remembering you even in our hour of need. We want this to go big. When I'm praying for my sister, I'm praying for everyone with that condition, everyone that's held in bondage, everyone that the devil thinks he has defeated, who death has come to claim. I got news for him. My father is in full control, and he's got the final say. Amen. Where do I go when there's no one? to turn to who do I talk to when nobody wants to listen who do I lean on when there's no foundation stable go to the rock I know he's able I go to the rock I go Go to the stone that the builder rejected Run to the mountain and the mountain stands by me The earth all around me is sinking sand On Christ the solid rock I'll stand When I need a shelter, when I need a friend storms of life are threatening who do I turn to when the stark winds of sorrow blow is there any refuge in this time of tribulation go to the rock I know he's able go to the rock coming to you Jesus I go to the rock of my salvation go to the stone that the builders rejected run to the mountains and the mountains stand by me the earth all around me is sinking sand on Christ the solid rock I'll stand shelter when I need a friend to go to the rock. You know, there's times that you realize that Jesus is all that you have. But I'm here tonight to say praise your holy name, my Savior, who is faithful and true. You are all that I need. May the Lord Jesus bless each and every one of you and may we learn to stand and trust our Savior who has the whole picture when we only see in part and may every one of us be strengthened by his power, his might, and his indwelling Holy Spirit. Good night. Bye-bye.